Chris, how are things going? Uh, things are going really well. The uh, facilities here are progressing nicely, so uh, should be on target to be finished around about May time. And what do you think of what they're doing here? Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, the rugby event for the Commonwealth Youth Games is going to be excellent. You know, it's going to be a 3,000 all-seater stadium. Um, the, you know, it's going to be under lights at night, so therefore it's going to be a tremendous tournament over two days. And what sort of boost overall will this do for rugby, for instance, for you after the Games are finished? Well, one thing that we've got is the Alaman are, are playing in the competition, so we've got a, a squad of uh, 16 to 18 year olds who are going to compete. Um, that obviously leaves a legacy for improvement of standard of rugby on the island, and also the facilities and the equipment that we're going to get as part of the, uh, the part of the process is going to be a legacy for the sport ongoing. How is Team Isle of Man coming along? And they're doing fine. We've got some really good athletes in the squad. Uh, they're going away to Roslyn Park Sevens in March to compete there as part of their build-up. And they're also uh, part of the Commonwealth Games Association programme here, using the Sports Institute to improve their performance uh, on all accounts. So how important are these sort of things to you? Um, well, it's tremendously important because you know, a lot of, we're going to have a lot of volunteers, a lot of administrators involved in rugby, involved in the tournament. We've also got referees who are going to be involved as well at a certain level. And it gives an opportunity for people to be involved in a massive tournament. The contractors tell me this work is on schedule and within budget, although you can't see a lot today in the heavy fog. Certainly a lot of work's gone on here since we last visited. So all being well, this unit will be handed over to the Youth Games Committee in either April or May, ready for the Games in September. Thanks for watching. Please help support Modern Manx history 